it's all about sustainability. You take the environment, the economy, and, and the neighborhood into account. For example, in quality life, we said, well, how could your project, even this sewer underground, can benefit this neighborhood? How can it help economic development in the city? We want something that people will enjoy 30 years from now. So instead of putting a big pipe underground, let's go ahead and make it an open channel. Let's go ahead and make it a canal. And it makes you think differently. And it makes these engineers that are all nuts and bolts and tenths of a foot think bigger. We started looking at how we begin to redevelop our downtown. We knew that the storm drainage right down through the heart of the downtown on Walnut Street was only 18 inches in diameter. There wasn't any way in the world that, that was going to be able to accommodate the growth in the downtown and the growth in the surrounding neighborhoods. So to begin to try and put together what's going to work and knowing that we have a federal and IDEM mandate on stormwater separation, it made sense to try to figure out how do we tie all that in. Bottom line, they decided to create the ARC Hotel facility, which is this eight-story building that's being built downtown. Um, in addition, there's a big parking garage that's building right next to it. Those two structures were built right along those 18-inch pipes that were not nearly big enough to build that, to take any waste, uh, stormwater runoff or the wastewater that would be generated by the hotel. So that was problem A. Problem B, these are combined sewers. We're under a mandate by IDEM to separate out the sewage from the storm. We had to get to the downtown anyway, so we decided, the Muncie District decided to combine those two things and construct a very large network of storm sewers through the downtown. I think it's pretty. It's, yeah. a, it's a place to walk, and it was fun watching them do it. We take a walk now and then. We didn't get to see all of it. Watch but the construction of it. But, it was uh, interesting. Well, I think it, it's a good project. It's uh, this end of town needs something. And they had said something about building a bridge across the river. I'd love it. if A walking bridge, I'd love that. A foot bridge. Yeah. That would be so much fun. We would probably walk more. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> just to stand over the water and feel free. This is going to be a small segment of a very large uh, plan for the city of Muncie. Uh, there's going to be a bridge that is going to go uh, across the river, which will tie to uh, the university, the Ball State. On this side over here, there's a culture trail that's going to be built that will tie the uh, the neighborhood here on the west side with the downtown and eventually the south side. It's really taking that Washington Street and Franklin Street neighborhood and, and revitalizing them. Um, and, and that's a good thing to see. We did not have that in mind. My practice is located right across the street from the canal, Washington Street, downtown Muncie. I, I've definitely noticed the canal has changed the way this whole area, this side of town, this side of downtown looks because it, it beautified the area. And it's good for Muncie. It's good for downtown. You know, people, some people, they don't realize what we have downtown. I don't know. There's somebody that might be interested in that. Um, here's this one back. Okay. okay, so we got two... Well, I think that anything that draws people to the downtown has a positive effect on the businesses here. So in that sense, if it does draw people, which I'm, I, I'm sure it will draw some, that is a positive effect on the downtown. I mean, you know, they're trying to make a lot of improvements in the downtown area related to the other part of the city, and I think that's always a plus. There's not many empty storefronts now even, so, you know, we've kind of passed the slum era and got into, you know, I guess a first generation of regeneration. So all these things work together. So here's the deal. Three years from now, 2018, we're going to all meet again. I'd like you to commit to come back out here 
And we're going to see the bounce that this neighborhood's been getting already based on this. As an infrastructure person, working for a district that does infrastructure, this is what it's all about. Is there anything more important with your work than to, re than to revitalize the neighborhood in Muncie? I would argue there's nothing more, more important that we could do.